called the Iron Chains spanning over the Datu River. Chairman Mao Zedong wrote in the poem describing the do or die battle happened right on the Luling Bridge where I'm standing. The bridge was built 300 years ago in Qing Dynasty, formed by 13 thick iron chains. The Luling Bridge is about 100 meters long and 3 meters wide. For centuries, the bridge was a choke point on the battlefield. When the Red Army arrived by the river bank, they realized there weren't enough bows for thousands of their soldiers to cross the water in time. With the nationalist forces on their tail, Mao and other leaders ordered assaults on the bridge and Luding city from both sides of the river simultaneously. Local Sichuan warlords, who were on the side of the nationalist forces, didn't want to destroy the bridge. So instead, they stripped away the wooden boards on it. After the day and night rapid march, the 4th Regiment, 2nd Division of the 1st Chinese Red Army Corps arrived in position. A team of 22 commandos volunteered to seize the bridge. They were equipped with pistols, grenades, broadswords, and submachine guns. Go, 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 the team leader shouted. The squad followed, their faces blackened by smoke, clothed on fire. Nothing could stop them as they made it cross the bridge. In two hours, looting city was captured. Four commandos were killed in action. However, their sacrifices were not in vain, for they secured the safety of thousands of the comrades who carried on a crucial battle that has shaped the course of China's history.